In addition to the basic call control applications, there are numerous call services applications. Using these, you can add common telephony features to your asterisk system. Music on Hold is one example. The default asterisk installation comes with audio files available under a Creative Commons license, and it's pre-configured so that the Music on Hold dial plan application works out of the box. There are many configuration options you can tweak, so looking at the CLI help and the sample musiconhold.conf configuration file are a good idea. You can configure Music on Hold to play arbitrary sound files of your own choosing, but you should be aware that there may be license or copyright concerns depending on your jurisdiction. Though we include a discussion of Music on Hold here because it's an asterisk application, in practice you probably won't be directly calling it in your dial plan. It's far more common to activate Music on Hold as an option enabled by another application, such as Dial or Q. The help text for those applications will tell you how to play the Music on Hold. Voicemail is another popular call service that Asterisk handles robustly. It supports per-user mailboxes, voicemail to email, one-touch message retrieval, and many more of the standard voicemail features you'd expect. There are two halves of the voicemail application that live in the same app voicemail module but have different names in the dial plan. Voicemail is the application that invites a caller to leave a message in a mailbox, and voicemail main is the application that allows a user to retrieve messages from a mailbox. You'll typically specify a mailbox to the voicemail application, while with voicemail main, you'll either list the mailbox in the dial plan or leave it blank and have asterisk prompt the user to enter the mailbox on their phone's keypad. Mailboxes for voicemail are set up in voicemail.conf. In the general section of this file, you can configure global options for recording formats, voicemail to email settings, and limits on the number and length of messages. By default, Asterisk will write voicemail message to the local file system in WAV or GSM formats. Support exists for recording messages via an ODBC or IMAP store as well. Actual mailboxes are specified in context defined below the general section and its options. The simplest setup involves having all mailboxes live in a context called default. You can use additional context if you want to separate groups of mailboxes, but then you'll have to add at context to your calls to voicemail and voicemail main from the dial plan. At default is assumed if you don't include a context when calling these applications. The format for specifying a mailbox is simple. First is the mailbox number, which is typically three or four digits. Then the equals greater than assignment, then a PIN. Next is the first and last name of the owner of the mailbox, followed by the email address where the voicemail messages will be sent as attachments, then another email address where Asterisk can send notifications without attachments, then any other options to tweak that particular mailbox. The PIN, name, email address, and options fields are all separated by commas. We've attached a sample voicemail.conf based on the phones we're using throughout this course. The directory application offers dial-by-name functionality based on the names defined for mailboxes in voicemail.conf. There are options for searching by first or last name and to give the extension before transferring the caller so that future lookups are unnecessary. The Follow Me application implements Find Me, Follow Me functionality. In our increasingly connected world, many people find it valuable to have a single contact number that can reach them on several different devices. This feature can be implemented in raw dial plan, but the Follow Me application, offered with asterisk, lets you define forwarding numbers more easily and concisely via the use of followme.conf. You can set up section headings for each person who will use the Follow Me system, and then define extensions to try when the Follow Me application is called with their Follow Me ID. Each listed extension will be attempted in the specified order. Like any asterisk extension, these may be direct dials connected to phones, or could be outbound calls over a trunk to the PSTN. This app can be configured so that the user can decide whether to accept or decline an incoming call. Call recording is an important feature for many call center and PBX installations. Asterisk offers several applications that allow calls to be monitored in real time or recorded for future use. Chan Spy lets a user listen in on other live calls. And Monitor, or Mix Monitor, record calls to disk. Each of these has several options that are worth reviewing for fine-grained control of exact behavior. It's a good idea to research any regulations related to call recording in both your jurisdiction and the jurisdiction of the caller before recording any calls. 
some jurisdictions require that all parties knowingly consent to call recording. Numerous other applications implementing common call services are also natively available with an asterisk. One example is the Q application, which handles ACD, or Automatic Call Distribution, functions. There is a chapter later in the course that is devoted to call cues and asterisk, so we won't discuss it further right now. As with any asterisk application, you can learn more about each of the apps mentioned in this module by issuing the Core Show Application command on the asterisk CLI. In the next module, we'll discuss audio applications.